What's going on guys, Profit Apathy back in the building with another video and in today's video I'm going to be starting a new series and I hope you guys are very happy and excited because I am. I'm going to be doing Black Ops 3 specialist tips and tricks and in today's video we're going to be going over kinetic armor. Even though pressing down two buttons make you practically invincible, I still see people using it incorrectly, making mistakes with it and dying very quickly. So in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys some really good tips and some advice not only for pubs but for competitive also because that's what I'm really aiming for and I know I know you guys are sitting here and asking what kind of advice do I need I just press down two buttons and I kill shit but in reality guys trust me when I first started using kinetic armor especially as a competitive pro player I made mistakes with it I died a lot of times with it I hated it I was like why am I using this it's so bad but in reality it's so good I was just using it incorrectly so I'm here to change your mind and to use it more and how to use it more effectively trust me you guys are gonna learn a thing or two and if you guys did not know kinetic armor actually has adds a flat 150 health bonus to your body therefore it's like killing you two times and a half more unless they just shoot you in the head either way guys let's start with the tips we're gonna start off what you do not want to do okay guys first step when using kinetic armor do not prone you're just more vulnerable to get headshotted and it's pretty much the easiest place to shoot you in as you're proning always remember that this is a common mistake made by a lot of people the next thing is do not crouch it puts your head in a more vulnerable position and obviously that's the last thing you want to do with kinetic armor especially since a lot of us tend to do it mid gunfight another big thing is people tend to think they're god when they use kinetic armor but in reality if you're weak and they just put one or two more bullets in your head you're dead sit back relax regain some of your health and then you can go back i'm gonna give you guys some good examples right now so right here i'm getting shot in the back i know i'm weak he's trying to pre-fire me i wait a couple seconds then i re-challenge once my health is almost full with kinetic armor it works like a charm do not think you're god just because you have kinetic armor on wait so here I have another quick example. We were playing Rise. I was getting shot at. I waited for my team a little bit. Waited for my health to regain. I know I have kinetic armor. I know I have to make a play. Jump down and pop an easy two-piece. Just use it effectively. Next big thing that you always want to do is get higher ground. If you have kinetic armor, when you get higher ground, you have the advantage. On top of it, it's going to be so hard for them to shoot you in your head. The only place they can really shoot you in is your body. So you're just getting a free kill. The next thing to do is have the same ground. Even though it's pretty obvious, you will win your gunfights 95% of the time. I hope you guys enjoy some of those tips of what you want to do and what you don't want to do. But now, I'm going to give you guys some more. First of all, use it correctly. Don't use it for no reason. Like, try to save it for important hills. A good example is Bunker Hill on Stronghold. A lot of you guys know it's a very high dependent specialist hill and Kinetic Armor being such a game changer specialist, use it accordingly. Another big thing is using it at the right time. Saving it for maybe a spawn you're trying to save, for streaks, or just to hold a hill that's very important at a time. If you guys know, you don't want to just spam Kinetic Armor like no, it's nothing. Like It's obviously a very, very, very good and important specialist. You want to use it to your advantage. You want to use it at the right time. So always remember Remember, when you're about to pop it, is this the right time or should I save it for the next hill when I can use it for a bigger purpose? So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Comment down below if you enjoyed it or what you think. But really guys, I just love helping you out, giving you guys tips to better your gameplay. You know, this is something I love to do. I've always loved to help out people. So really, really, really hope you enjoyed today's video. But before I go, I'm going to do a quick recap. Okay, guys, for the do nots, number one, do not prone. You're just going to be way more vulnerable to headshots. You're going to die easy and fast. Number two, do not crouch or slide. Sliding is one of the worst things you can do with kinetic armor. Trust me, you will get killed very quickly. It's almost as bad as crouching. Number three, do not think you're god. Obviously, with kinetic armor, it does give you extra health. But remember, you're still vulnerable to headshots. If you're one shot, you're going to die almost every single time. Try to go back, regain some health, then challenge again. Now, which brings me to the do's. Make sure you regain some health before re-challenging with kinetic armor. Like I said, don't think you're god. Number two, make sure you have higher ground. Kinetic armor plus higher ground almost equals god. It's going to be very hard to kill you just because it's hard for them to shoot you in the head if you're way above them. And number three, try to always have the same height as them, same ground, same elevate. You don't want them to be higher than you. You want to be either higher or the same as them because that's the only way kinetic armor won't get popped so easily. Either way, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. This has been your boy, Apathy, and I'm out. Have a good day. Peace.